A warning tonight from the NAACP to minorities. Be careful when coming to Missouri. New at 10, 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey explains the travel advisory, warning that your civil rights may be disrespected here in the state. This week, the NAACP sending a strong message to Missouri after issuing a travel advisory for minorities, a warning that their civil rights may be in danger. People should be extremely concerned that we have a national organization that is painting Missouri as a racist state. The advisory coming weeks after Governor Eric Greitens signed Senate Bill 43 into law, the bill making it tougher for fired employees to file discrimination lawsuits. Under the law, former employees must show discrimination as the main reason for their firing, not just a contributing factor. Supporters say the law could help cut down on frivolous lawsuits and put Missouri more in line with federal standards. But opponents like State Representative Brandon Ellington worry about its impact. The bill that will allow discrimination to run rampant in the workplace. We have actually rolled back protections for our most vulnerable citizens. The travel advisory also coming after an attorney general's report showed black drivers were 75% more likely to be pulled over than white drivers in the state last year. With the current climate across Missouri, today State Representative Branding Ellington holding this community event in Kansas City where people could meet with police and prosecuting attorneys to learn more about their rights. Teresa Perry attended Saturday's event and says the advisory could lead to more awareness of problems in Missouri. But I'm glad they put it out there so they can know let's start rectifying it, whatever it is. An advisory, she says, could potentially bring progress. Kansas City could come together and unite and make this a better place to live and show others of places that we're a great place to live. Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News. The NAACP voted on the travel advisory for Missouri during a national gathering this week. Senate Bill 43 goes into effect in late August across the state.